For me, my lymphedema is swelling in my left arm and my left breast. It's never going to go away. And it's something that I'm going to have to live with. And then I was living with two incurable <laughs> illnesses, you know, the breast cancer and the lymphedema. Lymphedema is a side effect of breast cancer treatment. Um, very often during the surgery, it affects the lymphatic system so that it no longer drains fluid up the arm. So there's an accumulation of fluid. The surgeon told me that I, they would have to take nodes out. I kept asking how many because I was aware of lymphedema. I can't do things how I used to, so I can't really like lift stuff because there's like a constant ache in your arm. When I point it out to people, they don't really understand why and they don't really understand the discomfort and the pain. I kind of grieve the person I was before lymphedema. I didn't have any of these limitations. I've been doing research on the lymphatic system for about 20 years now. The current project now is an implantable device that would go in at the time of surgery. It's small, uh, less than a, a, it's about a half a centimeter across. It goes in place of the original lymph node to help prevent the lymphedema from forming by reconnecting the lymphatic vessels that have been severed during the surgery. Co-production is a hugely important aspect of our research. It's where you bring in patients and other stakeholders uh, into your project. You tell them about what you're doing, you get their input, and it's, it's absolutely crucial for understanding the problem to begin with. It's very important for us to meet with patients who have lymphedema, to come together and collate a list of user requirements. We know that the device needs to be small and concealable. It also needs to be comfortable, so we've designed it with a soft material. By helping researchers, by giving them feedback, I'm leaving this legacy of next time somebody gets diagnosed with breast cancer, they won't have lymphedema or, you know, maybe they'll be able to live with it for longer and it won't feel like that death sentence that it felt like for me. Anyone can get it. So it's, it's, it's very, it would be quite nice to have, you know, like a wide representation in research as well. It's not just a white disease, so to speak. The lymphedema doesn't discriminate, so neither should the research or the projects shouldn't be discriminating either. Like, so it is important to have a wide diversity so you can get an experience from everybody. A certain patient, you know, has a struggle with a particular aspect of the disease and they think they're the only one. But being in that room of other patients, they found out they're not the only one who has that struggle. I take part in, in the meetings is I'm not alone. What I am saying, I am, I'm listened to and I'm understood. It's nice for researchers to know how we feel on the inside, not just the physical symptoms, but the, but the impact that it has on our lives. And maybe that would drive them to take things further. To get this funding that we currently have, I was in front of an interview panel and I was fortunate enough to have Katie, one of the patients in our patient group, and she showed her arm and said, look, this, is, this thing has wrecked my life. And that combination of a patient, a surgeon, and Jimmy the researcher was a powerful combination and I think that that was picked up on that the, there was a patient involved. And we got the funding thankfully so I'm very thankful to, to Katie that, that she was able to do that. It was, a, it was a very brave thing to do. The most important aspect of co-production is to trigger the emotional response and to motivate and inspire individuals in bringing change. I feel a sense of inspiration and a, a, a real sense of purpose that what we're doing and, and all the hard work we put in is going to come to some benefit and, and we just it helps me push on through all the difficulties of, of this kind of research. <laughs>